So a translocation is when you basically move animals from one area to another. It would typically be from an area that is overpopulated to an area that doesn't have enough animals. The reasons why you do it is things like mitigating human-wildlife conflict, like some of the, the translocations that Jar did this year with some buffalo, or it would be to restore balance to an ecosystem. So for instance, there would be an area that, doesn't, that hasn't had elephants in a very long time, so everything's completely overgrown and there's no open pathways for smaller animals to graze. Um, so we'd bring the elephants in to open up the area and then restore balance in that way. Jav, so you're a wildlife vet. So what kind of animals are we talking about um, in these translocations? What, what translocations have you been involved in? We're quite lucky being a relatively young wildlife vet or a young team of wildlife vets because it's not just me, it's me and uh, another two wildlife vets uh, that work with me in Mozambique. And a lot of the complicated bits in translocating the different species have already been cracked by people that have done it before in the past year. So now it's relatively easy for us to go and read a book or to send a message to someone um, and actually do it uh, do it well, although it does it never comes without risks. Um, and we've been involved in some call it pioneer translocations or the methods that we used have been quite new and novel. And to give you an example this year, uh, we've been involved in cheetah, leopard, buffalo and elephant translocations. And the special thing about doing it in Mozambique is that it's very different from, I would say, a lot of other countries. Or compare it to a country like South Africa where there's a lot more control because it's smaller reserves that are fenced. A lot of the people in South Africa involved in wildlife conservation know how to do it or have been involved in this type of operations before which is it's, it's very helpful. In Mozambique, we're sort of, you know, we're sort of the first ones doing it. It's very large tracts of wild land. Um, it's a small team of people, and so it becomes a lot more challenging, but a lot more fun.